We wanted to look, and we're always looking for new biomarkers for thyroid cancer and for other malignancies. We know that LGR5 is a protein that tags cancer stem cells, and it's important in other malignancies like colorectal cancer and gastric cancer. It's been found to be important for those. We also know that it is linked to the wind beta catenin signaling pathway, and beta catenin overexpression has been found to be associated with tumor aggressiveness in papillary thyroid cancer. And so um, we wanted to first evaluate whether there was overexpression of LGR5 in papillary thyroid cancer. We looked at that in different ways. One of the ways was we um, looked at normal cell lines and then uh, thyroid cancer human cell lines. And we found that expression of LGR5 was up to 1,500 fold higher in thyroid cancer. And then we also looked at human tissue, and we looked at that several ways um, by looking at frozen human samples and um, at looking at paraffin embedded um, immunohistochemistry samples and found that LGR5 again was very highly expressed in papillary thyroid cancer. We wanted to know what it did. Um, we knew that it was highly expressed, and so one of the things we did was we silenced it with shRNA and um, didn't find a change in proliferation, but did find that when we did a cell scratch assay, and that's an assay that looks at tumor migration, um, that LGR5 um, knockout lines really didn't repair the scratch like the um, scramble and the control lines. And so we thought, well, hmm, that's interesting. Um, maybe this is important in migration and metastases. We know that this protein labels cancer stem cells, which are more primitive cells, they're more migratory, and um, that would make sense. So what we did is we took um, several cohorts of patients at Duke, um, where I am, and um, the first was a discovery cohort where we looked at 26 patients with thyroid cancer. And we looked at their original tumors and markers of tumor aggressiveness. And in that population, we found that there was significant um, associations with male sex, which we know that that's a risk factor for more aggressive thyroid cancer, with lymph node metastases, and with lymphovascular invasion. So that was interesting, and um, what we did was we wanted to validate that in a validation cohort, and we did that in 157 patients who underwent total thyroidectomy at our institution, and it had at least five lymph nodes sampled at surgery because we wanted to validate that that finding was true. And interestingly, we found all of the same things um, that we found in our discovery cohort, but we also found other um, associations. So LGR5 in thyroid cancer is also associated with lymph node number, lymph node metastases, tumor size, T stage, N stage, extrathyroidal extension, lymphovascular invasion, and macroscopic extension as well. And so all of those um, are useful because we could use this as potentially a biomarker. It can also be a novel marker for um, novel therapeutics in the future. And um, it may be relevant in other cancers as well. One of the problems that we run into in thyroid cancer is when we have a total thyroidectomy surgery, we don't know who we should be doing central lymph node dissection on and lateral lymph node dissection. So if we knew LGR5 status before we did surgery, we could risk stratify patients prior to surgery and know what the correct surgery would be to do.